was your breakfast? Yeah, what was your favorite part? He wants to look at airplanes. So we went and ate at Bulma. It's now 10 19, so we got there around 9 and then we got called in around 9 10 or so, so it wasn't very long. And uh, the bread pudding with vanilla sauce was definitely my favorite, followed by the sticky buns. And then I really liked the um, the red tomato sauce that goes on top of the baboji. That was pretty interesting. It had a little bit of a curry and chili flavor to it, which was nice. Michael really liked his. Um, what was your favorite? All of it. Yeah, he likes curry spices and things like that. So um, overall, everyone was happy. Definitely. Um, would recommend going there. They were very fast turning over. They brought lots of pog juice and unlimited coffee and all that kind of stuff, which was delicious. And uh, <laughs> James is looking at airplanes now. And now we're on the bus. It's 1020. The bus pulled up right when we were coming to the bus stop and we're headed to Animal Kingdom for day one of Disney. Here we are. Made it to Animal Kingdom. We got to head over to customer service around the corner, which I'm not sure exactly where. Yeah, I think it's back through here to pick up our annual passes. Those are all the people that just got off the tram from the parking lot. Hopefully customer service isn't gonna be bad, but I always expect it to be kinda bad. There they are, left. Good morning, how are you? Let's see if it works. The first time. Mine worked. Hold it on there, bud. Mom's finger. Mom's finger. Uh oh, I'm in charge, James. Just remember that. All right, they worked. All right, we made it into the park. We are going left. We're gonna just go left and then left again because flight of passage. I got a lightning lane for yeah for eleven ten. And it is 10.53 now. I guess we're right on time. We are right on time. Does we just went and picked up our annual passes. It was a bit of a wait, but Michael and I split the lines and Michael found the shorter line and I'm glad that we did it that way. And I thought that they wouldn't maybe attach to our bands that quickly, but they really did and we just got right on in. And our bands were already pre-set up in the MDE app anyway. So... <sighs> now we can relax and go get in some lines. <laughs> Monday morning, 10.54. It is busy. I see. Ooh, they've got the little uh, animals that they're flying around, the puppets. James, it's a polar bear on your right. What you yeah, Aww. Happy Christmas. Now's your chance to yell at him what you want for Christmas, James. <laughs> Tell him what you want. That was your chance. Are you excited to ride on the back of a Ekron? Got this. Woo, you got this too, buddy. <laughs> we got a cheerleader in the line. He's going to lose his little mind. <laughs> I'm so excited for him. Look at how pretty it is, James. Look to the right. Mom. 
What are your first thoughts coming into the queue, James? My first thoughts is want, wanting to go on that Pandora. You want to go on the Pandora ride? That's okay. cool. Is that cool? Make sure you look everywhere. There's lots of fun stuff to see. It's too bad that they don't have any of the, the uh, what's it called, the glow in the dark forest back in the main line. We're already at the load area. The Banshee is one of these important animals. Dr. Ogden is the foremost expert on studying the Ikron and has spent years researching them. Unfortunately, banshees live high in rookeries and humans can't get anywhere near them without <laughs> becoming their lunch. But the Na'vi and avatars Come can. Lunch. In fact, the Na'vi have been riding on the backs of banshees since their earliest history. Thanks to science, avatars can ride on banshees too. Hi. There you go. Good job. Yeah. There you go. Doing good. <laughs> all right. Did we find We've one? All been matched with Avatar. <gasps> we got I, matched. Uh, ooh, looks like they're ready for you in the next room. Uh, when the door opens, please go inside, all the way in, and stand over the same number that you're standing over now. And. Uh, and I'll see you in there. All right. Where's my money? Not yet. Daddy, we got another pre-show. Get on your spot, Daddy. Oh, there you Say thank you. Thank you. All right. Go stand on number two and face this screen. Good. That's green. You don't need to wear the glasses quite yet. You just hold on to them, okay? In the mask days, you would have to put them on early. Yeah, before so that they wouldn't fog up. <laughs> nope, that's someone else's number, buddy. What? We stay on our number. Or as we call it, a banshee. To the Navi, connecting to an Ikran and flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. With permission from the Navi and in partnership with Alpha Centauri Expeditions, we can now bring this amazing experience to you. The way you'll be able to fly is by linking to an avatar that's already on the back of an Ikron. You're excited. It'll feel like you're really there. Moments later, you'll begin your flight. A Navi guide will lead you out. You'll experience the breathtaking beauty of Pandora, but you might also face some of its greatest challenges. Some of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Siva Ko, rise to the challenge. Good luck. All right, you ready? Are you Let's ready? get you into the link chamber. Yeah, okay. All right, travelers, one final reminder. This is a four and a half minute experience. If you have a fear of heights, motion sickness, or cannot remain seated throughout the flight, please let me know now. Travelers, one through eight, you're gonna follow me first, not through six. One, two, and three. Thank you. All right, buddy, you get in number two. How'd you like it? Um, I like it. Yeah, what was your favorite part? My favorite part? was um was um um the like the big swoosh of water and the well did it oh that's for sure Wait. we're gonna go see that movie and probably see those creatures what do you think and um and um but when when we were over the, the water and the wells were coming up oh that was fun I ate the steak with noodles and a an onion vinaigrette and the noodles have some peppers and some carrots in them and it was extremely well seasoned and the little boba balls are all gone now because I like to eat those as well and I'm stuffed but it was very delicious and the steak was nice and tender. It's my favorite thing, really rare steak. Show, so the, camera, good. show the camera what you had for lunch. 
James had that. <laughs> Monday, December 5th. This is what Asia looks like. It is 1 p.m. on the dot. It's a bit crowded, but we are headed towards Everest. James is first time to ride it, and um, it's only a 50 minute wait right now, so hopefully that's true. Ooh, there's a sitar player. The Holly and the Ivy. Definitely a good Upside down, but you'd go on upside down if you could. Yeah, he's a brave boy. I found the best place to come in Animal Kingdom. It's totally dead back here. This is the most beautiful place. This is around the back side, so that's the queue on the other side to tough to be a bug. There's the other side of Africa and Asia. And Everest is down the river that way. Isn't this gorgeous? Beautiful photo spot. This would be a good place to bring your grab and go food. Just sit back here. There's lots of people just sitting in their quiet little nooks. A fun game for kids would be to come and try to find as many animals as you can. I like the, the tentacles of the octopus on that one. Gorilla. Ooh, and it's nice and cool back here because the water brings the temperature down a good deal. This is where the ride exits. Go right ahead, please. You're good, you're good. Lots of animals back here, wow. Thank 
cute owl. Yeah. 